This Next one. question is from Mustafa. Hi, Mustafa. Do you think the beer bug, meaning the disease that's going around for the past mm -hmm. few years, do you think the beer bug is the reason why more people are turning to secularism and ushering a new wave of modernism, modernism like during World War I and Spanish flu? Or, yeah, the Spanish influenza. Um, so, basically, yes. Um, there have been a lot mm -hmm. of... Uh, studies about this over the past two years and church attendance is the lowest it's ever been now obviously it's partially because of restrictions but then there's been also a lot of studies about how people just aren't coming back when they can um i think it i don't know if it's necessarily secularism or atheism or even non-belief so much as people are actively distancing themselves from organized religion and oftentimes what comes the next step out of that is kind of a diffuse spirituality so i've read a couple articles about that recently um but yes this is definitely a big shift that's happening culturally at, at least in north america um and um i think it's 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 likely to continue on the other hand, there yeah. are other people who have become mm. um, more fervent than ever, as is likely to happen during times of hardship. Um, we need data for this. I don't know if it's true. Like I know, like on Iranian news, um, you know, outside of the country, uh, and stats were showing that more Iranians were questioning religion and God because of this disease, right? Um, but I don't know globally. I mean, secularism was growing even before all of this like is this having so i don't know how much of that growth is just because of what was happening already before and how much of it is because it, like it's going to be really hard for you to separate um to measure the difference right like for people no there right? has been stuff about this in north america like we've talked about it on the okay. news a lot oh yeah you're right i just yeah, can't but, remember like, they... specifics off the top of my yeah. head I can tell you personally, having been using this against people who used to pray for a cure, right? And then, like, the jab came, and I was like, you've been praying for a year, and there was no answer, and now the science scientists give you the answer. Like, see where your loyalty, maybe you should switch loyalties to our side, come to our side. <laughs> Uh-oh. Right? So, so I've been, like, emotionally been manipulating people to be like, Look who's look who's answering your prayers. It's the scientific community, not God. Um, I, 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 yeah, I was I, I, I've I have told that to people who used to pr who prayed about a cure. So, so mm. I don't know if that had that. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay, Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.